Are hot tubs becoming popular again? Some of the best backyards are the ones that draw the family out the back door and the lure of a hot tub is becoming a big part of it. So yes, hot tubs are crushing it with huge progressive forecast in backyard living over the next six years. So as we're talking hot tubs, you're probably already thinking about the way they look. People love a hot tub, but they don't like the way it looks outside. And I get it. We design around this all the time. So think about how we can conceal some of the hard lines that the hot tubs always bring. We've done this many ways. What I like to do is try to get a bar around the space or we try to sink it down a little bit. So the long and short of it is yes, you can still do a store-bought hot tub, have all the therapeutic benefits of it, but have it look amazing in the backyard. And we're gonna to talk to you about all the different ways to design with the hot tub in mind. But how much does all of this cost? Not everyone has space for a large hot tub or a budget to afford one. It's a good thing compact and space efficient models are on the rise. These smaller hot tubs are perfect for urban settings or cozy backyard retreats. They offer all the comfort and technology of larger models in a more compact package with a more compact price. Now that's what we're talking about. Along with space efficiency comes energy efficiency, which is a new top priority for spa and hot tub manufacturers. The hot water and the jets take you on a mind-body escape to help you unwind in a way that's hard to replicate. Stress results in muscle tension, headaches, fatigue, and soreness. Hot tubs with a combo of buoyancy, heat, and massage relieve the tension and the stress. Why wouldn't they become people magnets? And don't get me started on kids and hot tubs. Can you say wrinkled fingers? In this video, we're gonna explore affordable backyard hot tubs and spas and why they are so powerfully irresistible. Where do we start? How about the difference between hot tubs and spas? So outdoor hot tubs can be wood or gas fired or electricity heated. A hot tub is usually portable and has its own plumbing and electrical system. Hot tubs are getting smarter with many equipped with integrated smart technology. This allows users to control the temperature, the jets, and the lighting through their smartphones or voice commands. Now spas, on the other hand, are heated with electricity and are designed for hydrotherapy with molded seats, lighting, and massage therapy jets. A spa can be specifically tailored to provide numerous health benefits. Many argue hot tubs and spas are the same thing and we do kind of agree. Who cares what you call it? There's just something about soaking in a spa. Okay already, let's stop talking shop and tour some hot tubs and spas. So let's start with this one. We have a standalone hot tub and a hot tub really can fit into any setting and here it is right across from the sauna. So you can switch it up to go back and forth from the hot tub to the sauna. Now the sauna is a heavenly retreat for R&R too and good for what ails you. Paired with the spa, it's a double whammy of health benefits. Notice the decor around the hot tub to help create the mind-body experience. Also, it does a great job of masking the side like we've been talking about, so you don't see the harsh edges of the hot tub. Now, walking into the Sherman backyard, one cannot help but remark about the exceptional view. Imagine what it is like from a hot tub. A spectacular night view with the city while soaking in the benefits, wow. Now here we have the fewers. Now the fewers added a swivel mount to the TV so they can pivot to where they want to see the screen. In this case, it's the hot tub. Sports or a favorite series won't be missed as you soak the day away with family and friends. So take a look at this beautiful Doak property. We had the beautiful hot tub as a destination out into their landscape. Now they lived in a typical neighborhood where they had windows looking in from all angles. But look at what we were able to do here. We added this beautiful privacy wall. Now you're private. People aren't looking in and it's sunken down in the deck itself. So you're not getting the harsh lines as you look out to the hot tub itself. What a beautiful hot tub design and destination we created here. Now you're gonna love what we did on this next one here with this next hot tub. We put a bar alongside of it because remember, not everyone is a soaker. So it's nice to be able to hang out with people inside of the hot tub and people on the outside. Another really cool design feature that we added here is the shower stall area. Strategically built in this spot, it also acts as a privacy screen from the neighbor's eyes. Now I love this coffee hot tub design. Here we have the elevated deck, so we put the spa right below the deck, which you don't see from the sight lines. 
Now, one of my other favorite features of what really brings this design to life is the water feature right outside where you can be in the hot tub and really soak in the sounds of nature at the same time. Another key feature that you can do with your spas or your hot tubs is put them under a structure or under a deck. Take a look at what we've done here. They really do add another element for four season use. You can use these no matter what the weather is. If you want four season use of your hot tub, you might consider putting it under a structure. There is a lot of other added benefits to this is you could put it right next to a fireplace or a TV and it does add to the privacy of that four season use of the space. Now here's another one under a deck and right across from it is a sauna so you kind of create this therapeutic area again. So think about this for your design of your hot tub. Should it go under a structure? With my personal hot tub, I have it out under the stars but really it's whatever you choose for your backyard space. Now here's one of my favorite backyards with the way that we designed the hot tub. Using the backyard slope, we took advantage of that and sat the hot tub down below the deck level. So you could step right in from the deck to the hot tub. Now this was a winning design that has the spa tuck next to the fire pit with easy access to the hot tub from that lower sun deck. Now this really created a whole backyard destination with the hot tub as one of the highlights. So here we had the fire pit, we had the water feature right there. We had a little lower sun deck for lounging. And again, we're focusing on the therapy of the hot tub, not on the sight lines that you're gonna see from the house. But again, the view of this space was amazing even though the hot tub is right there. So you're maximizing the enjoyment of the hot tub without the negative view of the hot tub. So consider this if you have any slope in your space. So take a look at this one. We had the backyard design where we put the hot tub into the deck itself. So if anybody needs to pull out from the soaking, the stairs become a custom seat. So notice the shower area nearby. It was just perfect. This design nailed it. And look at this amazing design. We had it tucked back in the corner near the fire pit was this amazing hot tub nestled into their own privacy deck. Need to step out and cool down for a bit? Take a breather with friends at the gorgeous fire pit. I love this look too. The hot tub is nestled into the perfect spot of its own near the house with easy to access stone steps leading up to it to get in. Beautiful. So all of these backyard spas have something in common. They look simple enough to do it yourself without high cost involved. Budget friendly is one of the reasons why we love our DIY projects around here. In fact, we promote Take Charge homeowners in our DIY membership. Now this is a membership community of people just like you who want to take the plunge and tackle designing and building their dream backyards. Not just putting in a hot tub, but also creating an outdoor living space with features that fit your idea of a backyard lifestyle. In our first year experiencing how the community would work, we have a group of homeowners from all over the United States and different parts of the world who are creating and building backyard spaces together. In our chat forums, they've designed their backyard simultaneously, uploading their design ideas and getting feedback from myself and from our other team members who are designing their spaces too. Then they begin building their backyard features. And if you have concerns and questions, just bring them up in the community chat. The, the other team members will give feedback as they might have just experienced what you are going through. So some of our founding members are nearing completion. The finish line is actually in sight and it just makes me so proud of their success. That is one of the reasons we are opening the doors again to encourage do-it-yourself types to join our DIY community and begin creating their own backyard spaces. So we limit our memberships to being able to create a tight-knit group and thereby being able to give more individualized attention. I mean, one, I wanted you to meet him and he's not okay. usually available. So yeah. I thought, hey, I'll take advantage of this yeah. gift. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and then two, I guess we just have some, uh, just a few other questions just to firm up things in our yeah. mind as we move through these other, all these yeah. projects. Okay. Um, now this is a perfect time to talk about one of our members. Her name is Krista. She's from Arizona. She did her whole backyard from the very start to the very end. She's almost to the finish line. She got a hot tub early and she's been putting in very long days on the weekends. Her and her husband are doing a sunken fire pit in this situation and they're learning a lot, but it's really hard on their body. So it's so cute that she works hard, but she knows that she has her hot tub to go into. Listen to her experience here. 
I think so. I think we're finally like just this last weekend. You know, you we work like all day some days, and then at the end of the day, it just doesn't even feel like we've done anything. It definitely doesn't look like it. But last weekend, it actually was like okay. Even yeah. our kids were like, "That looks different." Yeah, that's good. Well, yeah. it's, and seeing the hot tub come in right and and actually oh. being able to use the hot tub, that's got to yes. got to feel pretty good. I look at that thing all day while I'm working and then I'm like, yes, it just is so nice to relax. And our kids are, our kids were like, this is better than a pool and we want to have our friends over and that's music to our ears. There is something about sitting in your hot tub, even under construction and just taking in, thinking about the space, but also seeing the fruits of your labor as you're relaxing in your hot tub. So there's so many health benefits to a hot tub, but one of my favorite benefits is the ability to bring families together for memory making while doubling as entertainment feature for guests. With all their benefits, you have to see why hot tubs are trending again in outdoor living. So make sure to at least consider a hot tub or a spa in your master backyard design plan. We hope that you now see that you can pretty much do any backyard on a budget that works for you. Our membership will take your backyard to the next level, so I hope that you've seen the value in that. I would love for you to explore that as well. Take a look at this video. You're gonna see a lot of testimonials about how many people are loving the membership right now.